Fuck you, it's Friday. Welcome to another edition of FYIF, where I play some of the games that I've missed over the past decade or so, which is basically all of them, except this week we're back with Spyro, which technically I've played before, but it doesn't count because I haven't played the whole trilogy. Um, but I am the voice of the Institute, Larissa, and tonight I am joined by the man behind the curtain, Mark. How are you doing? Uh, I am good, and it is true that I am also here. Uh, hi. Well, are, are, the best are, intro I can muster. Muster. Oh. Oh. Are you still sick? Uh, yeah, kinda. Well. Well, maybe some uh, some of our favorite purple dragon will help cheer you up. Let's play. I very much doubt that. What? <laughs> How can? Sorry. Just... Sorry. What? Sorry. <laughs> you hurt me. Why must you hurt me? Ah. <laughs> uh. The adventure continue. Is it going to continue soon, or how long are we going to stare at the screen? I don't. I don't know how long it's going to take to load. Okay. Okay. I don't have control I'm, I'm over this. So far. There Why we do go. You play this game? Oh, okay. There we go. And here we are in the land of the Dreamweavers, which is more like a candy-coated nightmare, if you ask me. Ah. Oh God, this place again. Yeah. So all we're doing here is just finding more gates to go hang out in. Let's go here. Tainorex says, can I get a woot woot for finals week? Uh, is it over? <laughs> That's the real question. Because if it's over, then I'll give an enthusiastic woot woot. If it's still ongoing, it'll be like a not really excited one, you know? Either way, I will not be doing that particular sound. What sound would you be doing? Uh, nothing. Sound of silence. Ooh. Yeah. Wait, have I already been here? Also, Tano Rex says his fi his finals are over. I guess not all of them, but his are. So I don't know if that earns a. It could. Uh, so, woot. How about a half woot? There we go. You only did one. I don't know. I don't know if that counts. Okay, so technically I've been here before, but I sucked at this place because I only got like half. Of everything mm. so not quite sure what went wrong there ah i hate this world the most i want you to know that <laughs> this like nightmare chihuahua like fire breathing monster thing it reminds me a lot of um like arkham asylum the original batman game uh, really? That seems to be a... I, I don't quite get that comparison. It's the guys in the, uh... Those, what are those coats called? Those Straight coat. jackets? Ah. They're flailing around. They look like the guy's Joker douses with his gas. And then you have these, like, clown things, these jesters, which are constantly laughing. Creepy. I don't like them at all. I don't know where the dogs fit into this metaphor, but... But I'm sure they do somewhere. Hmm. Ah. Whoa! Okay. The turtle spit fire? That's not yeah, fair. Have you ever seen Gamera? I think you know the answer to that question. What's the Gamera? I have not. Do you know what camera is? No. That's too bad, because it was a great reference. He's a right, uh, Godzilla it. knockoff. He's a giant turtle that can fly and breathes fire. Also, I think your volume's kind of low compared to mine. That's always supposed to be the case. Ha. Huh. All right, well, I'll just talk better. How about that? OK. Okay, I recent I just found this new place, so we're already going in clearly a direction. You remember you can dodge, right? Because that's always been like the thing that gets you. Yeah, look at him go. He's so cute. Look at him. What are you dodging? 
Well, I'm not dodging any anything in particular, but I am just in general dodging. Man, Ooh. I haven't seen the dodge so far. I'm kind of disappointed about it, but whatever. I, I've been dodging a whole bunch. Look yeah. at that. I just, I'm not dodging anything specific. Okay, fine, fine. Oh! You should have dodged that thing, though. That thing you got hit by? Yeah, I, I should have. You're, you're right. Yeah. There we go. Wait, does that light have a ha oh never mind, is the thing collapses into the light? Uh yes it does. It like That's folds weird. it folds up on itself. Why does it do that? Magic. It's your answer to everything in this game. Yes. And I don't think that's an unreasonable late. answer. I would say that Spyro is a very soft magic system. Really? Well, actually. Yeah, not all of it's explained, so it's very soft. <laughs> Where does it pull in your chart? Um. Huh. I would say definitely elemental. Uh. It, elements of. Get it? Elements? Um. Yes. <laughs> I like your joke. It was very good. Yes, thank you. Uh. Quick question, where do these dragons go after you rescue them? Thanks, Spyro. I'd love home. to help you catch Nasty. I thought you were saving their home. To be trapped in crystal again. Don't worry. Hey. The only one that's going to be trapped is him. Okay, so he says, thank you for rescuing me. I'd really love to help you fight Nasty Nork, but I don't want to turn into crystal again, so why don't you just do it by yourself? Coward. Yeah. A really big coward. Wait, no, so I thought, I thought you were saving the dragon home. Isn't that where you currently are? No. Well, no, I, I am in one of the portal worlds that is connected to the dragon home. Okay. I, just, I still don't get where they're going. Because you went to the artisan chamber and it was full of those like weird, like hippie dragons. <laughs> but they're, yeah. they're clearly from there. So why were they leaving immediately after you saved them? I, I really don't know. Huh. You know, if you're not gonna, you know, put the attention to this game it deserves, I don't know what to do. <laughs> also, fuck this thing. What's what? It's like that dragon with the jester hat. I hate him. <laughs> oh my god, he's horrifying. I think you've got some unresolved fears that revolve Can around I... jesters. Can't I just hate jesters without it being like a whole thing? I mean, you could, but that's not Can't as fun. Can't I just hate that purpose? <laughs> ah! That would have been a good time to dodge. Yeah. See, my normal technique is just kill them first and get mad when they hurt me. Mm. I think it works. If it did, you wouldn't have to do this level over again, so... Well... The reason why I left this level early is because I'm a dumb, a dummy who just didn't finish exploring it. Uh, okay. What's that firecracker do? It unlocks that treasure chest that was over there. Oh, that's lucky. Yeah. I didn't know I was gonna hit it. Because that's kind of how they all work. Uh. They're not terribly uh, confusing the puzzles, which I'm so okay with. <laughs> Alright. We've completed this level. We can go home. We sure did. Yay. Gonna do some victory rolls. Go barrel roll. So you got 7,500 of those things. What does that get you? Uh, theoretically, a trip with a balloonist. But actually oh, not in theory. Oh, yeah, that guy. But yeah, it's... Him and his brother's always like, Ugh, I can't take you anywhere unless you've got 5,000 gems. But then they don't actually take the gems. So it's just like, you just want me to have it? Oh, you just want to see it? Yeah. Like, you don't actually want it for yourself? What is this? Doesn't make sense. That's like uh, this one time I was getting a taxi. 
And the driver says to me, I can't take you anywhere because I've always wanted to know what a $20 bill looks like. And I'm like, oh, I got one right here. Showed it to him and he was like, cool. Took me on my way. Yep. And that was it. There was no further communication or exchange of goods and services. Nope. Inverted T-Rex uh, says it's like a credit check. Yeah. <laughs> Although if they don't charge you anything, I don't know how that works. Yeah, I don't quite understand it either. Jacques. How, do, how does the economy like in this world function, Larissa? I don't... I think it's a super... Like, I don't think it's actually an economy. I think it's more like... A, a commune. Well, they just hoard wealth for the sake of it, but nobody actually needs it. Huh. Because these are dragons, after all. The 1%. Keep losing sparks. This is distressing. Oh, also, are we playing uh, the Stellaris Megacorp pre-release preview? Yes. I mean, no. Shut up. Okay. Hold on. Let me just let me. Because it looks a little different, and thanks to Ace of Unknown for pointing that out. <laughs> I mean, the Megacorp expansion was a weird direction to take Stellaris, and I thought. <laughs> yeah. I mean. They went and they did something brave, and we can't fault them for that. I just don't get why they named it Megacorp, if it's just going to be about dragons collecting gems. You know what? Corporation? Now I've got to go find the thing. Oh, everything's just different. Okay, it's fine. I fixed it. It's fine. Good work, Ace of Unknown. You stopped the entire screen. <laughs> Yay. Whoa! Oh, I was so not ready for that. <laughs> I just got kicked in the face. That's a wonderful way to get back to it. <laughs> uh. Yeah, but that guy's ever back. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> oh. I mean, it wouldn't be a Templin stream without random unexpected death, right? Uh, yeah, I think that's probably true. Okay, I forgot that I can't kill those guys, and that guy up there is dead, so now I've just got to avoid him. It's fine. Why can't you kill him? Um, because he's too big, I guess. Oh, okay. I mean, he's no bigger than some of the other guys you killed. Yeah, I know, which I don't quite get. I know I've been here already. Ah, uh, these gestured types. Hate them. Zed says, I like to have food while watching and spit it out laughing when something funny happens. <laughs> well, Has something I'm funny glad... ever happened? I'm glad that you're entertained, sir. That is he the didn't whole say point. That. He didn't ah. say he was, he was, he was like, he's saying he wants to do this. He doesn't say if it's actually ever happened. Okay, fair point, but I think you're missing the actual point of what he said. I think what he said was, I want to spit out food when something's funny. But he did not say if it's ever happened before, or if it's likely, or or what. It's the implications there. Mm, no. Getting caught up in the semantics. If anything, I think he's telling you to be funnier. I'm trying my best, okay? Uh, have I been to the lofty castle? I have been. I haven't been, I haven't finished the haunted towers. But I seem to remember really struggling with that that game. Or that level, I should say. I mean, I could... Um... Hmm. You could what? You could what? I, 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 got, I got nothing. I was going to insult you, but I figured I, we did that enough. <laughs> Aw. We're going to face Jacques. Fucking Jacques. Fucking Jacques. Well, there's a snake in this plane. Another goddamn snake. There's a snake in the plane, Jock. That's just my pet, Reggie. Julius Kaiser gets it. <laughs> I hate snakes, Jock. I hate him. What? This is. 
This is terrifying. This world also seems awful. And you say this game is for children? <laughs> yeah, I know. Doesn't seem right, does it? The, um, the background environment yeah. is identical to the recent Doom reboot. Really? Is the is Doom this, like... Horrific, yes. looking? Ah. She's hitting me with a flower. Why does it hurt so much? Why does it hurt so much? Get it? I'm Angelina Jolie in The Hobbit. Uh... No? When was Angelina Jolie in The Hobbit? <laughs> I get it. What? Did you not watch The Hobbit? I did. That was a huge controversy was... Not... Wait, did I say Angelina Jolie? You did? Okay, I meant Evangeline Lily. Ah. <laughs> that other generic white girl who's been in stuff. Okay. <laughs> Are you not a big fan of uh, getting things right? No, I actually hate it a lot. That explains quite a lot. I mean, the show is Fuck You, It's Friday, not Yeah, We're Right, you know? <laughs> I mean, I don't see why they should be exclusive or exclusionary, um, mutually exclusive. So what was your favorite scene with Angelina Jolie in The Hobbit? <laughs> the one where she wasn't in it? It was when she brought out her, like, two guns and uh, shot everybody. <laughs> I don't know, what happens in Tomb Raider? <laughs> <laughs> when she pulls out her pistols and shoots everybody? Yeah, when they went to Moria and she was raiding it. The wise dragon once told me aim high in life. But watch out for flying boxes. Uh, huh? That's my thoughts exactly, Spyro. His advice to me was to sh aim high in life, but watch out for flying boxes. Like that, I guess. I mean, he's the most useful person so far. Oh my god. Okay, but I'm not ready. There was other things to explore. Ugh! Oh! Hey, so uh, I'm just gonna finish exploring. What? What? This is no mine. It's a tomb. <laughs> and it's a good thing I'm here, or a cracky, or I'm Angelina Jolie, or he is, is the Tomb Raider. <laughs> Perfect. You know what? It was like I was watching the movie. I know, right? <laughs> uh. What was the controversy behind Evangeline Lily? Oh, the fact that they just didn't, like, the fans were like, Ugh, Toriel isn't, like, she wasn't in the movie, it's just for... Basically, is to cause a love triangle to exist. Ah. Which, I admit, was incredibly contrived, but just her sheer existence... Um, oh, no! There's a cliff. <laughs> Oh. You got uh, overconfident. Yep, I got cocky, and then I fell off a cliff. That's what you get, kids. Anyway, yeah, um, I, I'm not opposed to the actual inclusion of a character that wasn't originally in the novel. However, I don't, I don't think they did it right. I think there is a way to do it, and that's not the way they did it. It's kind of strange that Legolas was in it too, right? Yeah. I mean, because it it was just a way to tie it into the to the main series, which I'm not opposed to. Just again, execution was lacking. Yeah. Legolas is too good at everything. Yeah, he's a Mary Sue. Yeah. I was always a Gimli man. I don't blame you. In the books, doesn't Gimli win the drinking contest? I couldn't tell you, to be honest. Oh. I know he wins the, uh, the competition to see who can kill more orcs. Again, couldn't tell you. How do I get You gotta believe. Like that. Yeah, I'm gonna take your word for it because I haven't actually read the uh, 
the original books. Well, I, I tried. I got to Rivendell and decided that I really didn't like it. Yeah, th those books are weird. That's one way of putting it. There's a lot of singing. There's, I feel like there's just a lot of everything and yeah. just too much of everything because this was back in the days when people were paid per word all the time. I hope the folks who complain about our Mortar video aren't watching right now. <laughs> Indeed. Did you watch the new Tomb Raider with uh, Alicia Vikander? Because it's my no one wants to know what to do. I actually haven't, and I kind of feel bad about it. Uh, okay. I have been not meaning seen to. any of them, so I cannot answer that question of which one I prefer. I'd assume the new one has to be better in some way, right? Um, well... Uh, someone I know watched it, and he was actually pretty disappointed with it. He was looking uh -huh. forward to it because he really likes Alicia Vikander, but um, he was saying that like it just felt kind of lackluster and bland. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. what the first one was. I think I, I think I saw the first one actually. Uh, I love the first one. That makes sense. Yeah, that you would like these mediocre things and hate everything good. Hey, it was great. And I beat Jacques. I beat the clown. Jester. Oh, asshole guy. So that was him? Excellent. Yeah. I was expecting more. <laughs> yeah, well, every single time we've faced a boss in this uh, universe, it's been a little meh. No, not that first one where you died all the time. Yeah, but that, it was still like just a sheep on stilts. Okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> Maybe you're too good at video games, Larissa. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Exactly it. You've okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say something crazy. Oh. I think the first Hobbit movie is supremely underrated. The Unexpected Journey? Yeah. I liked the Unexpected Journey. In fact, I put it on the same level as Fellowship. Maybe. Uh, uh, that's, I haven't seen I it in a while, a... but I remember. I don't think it was as good as um, Fellowship, but I didn't hate it. It could be that I just wanted to like it so badly, but I remember leaving the theater and just feeling like, wow, that was like really cool. And like, it was exciting to go on the adventure again and all that stuff. And Yeah, I know what you mean. Got you. I felt the same way with Solo, actually. I really like Solo. Yeah, I don't know why there was hate for Solo at all. I think, was was the hate more directed towards the production of it as opposed to the actual movie? That's what I kind of thought. Yeah, I think you're right. It was more the circumstances than like the actual film. We don't want film. this movie. We want a Kenobi movie or we want something new. But, I don't know. Solo was a bit a bit new. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I was watching some scenes earlier today. Uh, and they hold up to what they were like in May, I guess. Yeah, because it's just good, wholesome fun. And yeah. it doesn't need to be more than that. I will say I don't like the droid lady. Yeah, you've got a problem with K, uh, not K2SO. What's her face? I think it's K2SO, isn't that her? No, no that's, that's uh, Rogue K2SO One. K2SO is, yeah, Rogue One. LL2? Yes? I, oh. I don't know. We're we're bad trivia people. How do we get over there? It's true. But no, her performance like was kind of like weirdly cartoony. Yeah, but you could also argue that C-3PO's original performance was and R2D2's was also kind of cartoony, so Yeah, but I maybe I'm explaining it wrong, but I just I don't her character didn't work for me. She always felt like she was reading a script as opposed to uh uh I don't know, not doing that. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I, I wouldn't say that you're wrong. Good. Either. Oh, where am I going? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like the best part of it, but I found it fun. Like, I didn't have a problem with it. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, the, the movie was good overall. Um... Not the greatest thing ever, but certainly, I thought it was on par with Rogue One. 
I didn't like Rogue One. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I thought it was kind of overrated, to be honest. What? Yeah, like, it was... It was fine, and they, you know, they solved the problem with the Death Star or whatever, but... It's, uh... I don't know. Was it because of Generoso? Did you not click for you? Yeah, I did actually have a problem with, uh, Jen, because she had no agency in her own movie. Hmm. I don't know how to get over there. That is true. Like, you could have taken her out and nothing would have changed. Well, Because yeah. they didn't need Jin to go deliver this message, this hollow. That was the only, like, real thing she did was go deliver this hollow and then decide to stick around and help the rebellion. But if she, you know, hadn't stuck around, nothing would have changed. Well, here's my question for you. I, I, that's the common criticism, right? Where she's just reacting to everything that happens. She has no agency. Um, do you think that's always bad? Like, can you have a character? It's who's not just always reacting bad. To circumstances? Um, in, okay. in Sicario, it worked really well because that movie was about having no agency. It was about feeling hopelessness in the face of organized crime and corruption. Right. That was the entire like point in the theme of the movie whereas the theme of Star Wars is always about stepping up and doing the brave and the right thing so for their protagonist to like not actually do that just because she didn't test well in front of test audiences just doesn't make sense to me well I suppose she did have the arc from going to like not really believing in the rebellion to being the one to sound the rallying call at the end but I, it wasn't it didn't it feel powerful. completely earned. Yeah, it wasn't powerful enough. It was it was really lacking in that oomph, that that emotional oomph that um, the original trilogy had, because yeah. like I, I get why it was supposed to have occurred with that uh, that transmission from her father and all that, but I don't know. Yeah, they from what I read. And I was pretty spotty with the, the coverage that I was reading, so I could have misremembered stuff. But um, from what I read, um, they ended up changing a whole bunch of her scenes because the audience thought she was too aggressive and too mean, so they like oh, really? basically just cut all her shit. That sounds way more interesting. Yeah. So maybe like you know she was too aggressive and unlikable but i kind of doubt it i'm thinking it was more she's too absurdive for what the audiences were wanting mm. and i don't think that's the same thing as uh being too aggressive no well done spyro although i, I do feel that movie was like mediocre until the third act and then it all like, came Matthew's together world is not the friendliest place you'll ever find. Are you ready to go? We're gonna go to Nasty's world. We're going to Nasty Nork's world. Oh my god. This oh my is god. the culmination of all of this effort. Is this the final world? I think it is. Oh shit. I think I'm gonna go confront him. Have you unlocked the BFG yet? No. Shit. I didn't know that I had to. How do you know this and I don't? What is going on? What is you this madness? You don't know about the BFG 9000? Oh my god, I'm so underprepared. Oh my god. That's actually a callback to Doom because I referenced it earlier. See, I haven't played any of the Doom games, so... Ah. I have no context, unfortunately. Beetle it's a it's a gun that kills everything in the room no matter what <laughs> that seems a little op don't you think well, that's why it stands for big fucking gun ah you should play the doom reboot i think you'd really like it i've seen some clips from it i think i would wait really yeah i was being slightly sarcastic Free you? 
You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro. And you are the dragon that must defeat him. Bring him on. I'm ready. Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. Do I have to do another round of portals before I can actually go fight him? Is that what this is? Wait, 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 wait. I love that they almost addressed like a weird plot point and then they ignored it completely. <laughs> Where he's yeah. like, hey, didn't I free you already? And he's like, welcome to Nasty Nork. And, and <laughs> <laughs> Just completely gloss over it. Yeah. <laughs> Just because you acknowledge something as inconsistent doesn't mean it's not annoying it just means that you're think you're funny yeah. looking at you deadpool whoa actually that's i i do i did really like deadpool i thought deadpool was overrated what a surprise are we ever gonna agree on anything larry no never ah! yeah. okay so we've got this donkey kong kind of level here Get, get wrecked. Okay, that was, um, that was a little embarrassing, not gonna lie. Ooh. That's cool. You're just like, oh, okay. I'm, I mean, I don't know what you're supposed to do with that. Well, I did manage to kill one guy with it, so that. Oh god, TNT. Haha. -ha. I Oh, no, okay, I can't ram the bar the barrel of TNT. You should keep trying though, just in case. <laughs> I think not. That's right, bitch. Whoa. Yeah. Excellent. All right. We've made some progress. A fine hit. Like you that know, like is a reference. Treebeard, The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, that whole thing. I, I don't know. It kind of works. It, it's okay. Oh, no, no. Okay, that was not well planned. <laughs> not well planned at all. That's fine though. We'll, we can recover from this. Okay. Ah. Ooh. Yeah. I was gonna on that, but yeah, that was rough looking. I lost Sparks. Keep losing him, man. You're not a very good friend to him, are you? No, I'm a terrible friend to him. He did nothing to deserve this. He just I... keeps taking hits that you would otherwise die from. Yeah. Why is he so loyal to you in the first place? I don't know, because he's a Keep dragonfly? Up the good work, Spyro. I expect Nasty's really starting to worry about you. I'd be shaking in my Nork boots if I were him. That's right, Nasty, shaking in your Nork boots. Wait, didn't you rescue that guy too? Yeah, I think they're just recycling dragons at this point. So nothing you've done has made any difference. Correct. Okay. Why are you killing the rats? Because that way I can get my dragonfly back. Okay. Seems a little How mean. Work. How it works. They understand. It's an ecosystem. Ah, uh, yes, the ecosystem of rats and... <laughs> Dragons and dragonflies. Yes. Oh, did I just get that now? The dragons and dragonflies? Yeah, that's why he sparks a dragonfly because you're a dragon. Yeah. I knew that before, didn't I? Because I just, I feel like I feel I just... like you've made this revelation before. Really? You must have. I, I don't think so. That's embarrassing for you then. Yeah, yeah. This is fun, ramming barrels at people until they die. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I am a big fan of barrel based violence. <laughs> By the way, chat, today's stream is actually a charity stream. So every, I think it's 100 bits, you get, uh, you get to donate $20 to the uh, Direct Relief Charity, which I looked at and it looks legit, so you can trust me. Wait, 100 bits gets you $20? That can't be right. 20 cents. Did I say oh, dollars? You might have, I don't know. I, I don't okay. really don't listen to you. Ugh, how rude. But yeah, you can uh, send some relief over to those folks that need it. You can Sounds be a like good you're trying person. to steal our charity idea. Uh, no. You can't really steal a charity idea. Well, I don't know. Ever since we've done our Operation Esperanza thing, I've been hearing about a lot of other charities that I think are trying to steal our idea kind of thing. We don't hold a monopoly on charity, right? As far as I'm aware, we were the first people to try to help someone else out. Right, I'm sure. Eh. Eh. Ah! No! No! I can't recover from this! No! <laughs> oh no! I got stuck in the tar sand! Oh, this is a sad day for Spyro. Yeah. But I got a feeling he's gonna have a few more. <laughs> a few more sad days? Yes. Uh. Well, I'm sure it'll be, it'll all be fine. Look at all this barrel-based violence. That's what I said, you stole my thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm not stealing it, I'm, like, look at all of it, I know you like it. Was it you who gave away our idea about the whole charity thing? <sighs> yes, Mark. Totally. I told the world about the fact that we came up with charity and everyone was like, oh, damn, that's a really good idea. We should steal it. I guess I should be happy, but I'm not. <laughs> ah. That hurt. Whoa. Okay, we're gonna line this up. Boom. What, uh, what charity was this again? Direct Relief. So every hundred bits sent on Twitch right now gets 20 cents to uh, direct relief. Exactly. And the great news is that it doesn't come out of our streams. It Twitch donates it. The Twitch donates it directly. Wow. I never thought I'd be rescued, especially by such a little dragon. Uh, what That's I mean patronizing. Is, I always believed in you, Spyro. Uh. You gotta believe. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very strange interaction. I don't yeah, like these guys' attitude. Yeah, they're all so condescending. And dismissive. And... It's generally assholey. Why are these guys worth saving? Why am I saving these guys? We've never asked ourselves that, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that, it's beautiful. Nice. Alright. Line up here. So, uh... I'm looking at some of the differences between the original game and the uh, remaster they've done here. Yeah. Uh, what did you learn? Okay, so on Misty Bog, when Spyro rescues Damon, he says, oh no, in a way that shows Spyro is tired that all the old dragons he rescues start telling him stories. And they've changed it to, oh no, in that he's concerned about the story the dragon told him. Interesting. I mean, there have been a couple of times where Spyro was like, um, I gotta go! And leaves before they Spyro's finish telling character. their story. 
he's just like, you know, he's really excited and has a lot of oomph and okay. moxie, you know? They've also changed the line, thank you for releasing me, to thank you for releasing me, Spyro. You can always check your progress by accessing the guidebook to the pause menu. <laughs> That's what they changed? Apparently, yes. Interesting. Very interesting. There's some talk about episode 9 of the old Star Wars chat. What do you think is going to happen, Larry? I don't know what's going to happen. However, I am looking forward to it, whatever it is. Kind of a lame answer. Well, to be honest, I liked The Last Jedi. I liked The Force Awakens. So did I. Were they perfect movies? No. Were they the best sequels that a Star Wars movie could have? Eh, I think so, actually. They were, they were still good. They were Star Wars movies in their own right. I have no problem with that. At DragonCon oh. this year, Star Wars Explained, aka Alex, um, was on a panel that was like anticipating episode 9 or coming oh. up with what they think would happen. Predicting yeah. episode 9, I think it was called. Yeah, I remember that. Julius Kaiser wants to know, Mark, what are your odds on whether they address the Knights of Ren? I think they got to, right? I seem to remember he reading a headline that's, that said that they're going to be talking about the Knights of Ren, but I didn't actually go read the article, so I could be totally off base here. I would love it if they got killed off in between the two movies. <laughs> they just like, oh my god, he just shot me with like cotton candy or something. Um, yeah. If they, like, it's all this industrial shit. Remember they did that in Pirates of the Caribbean? They had that giant sea monster kraken, and then it died by the time the next movie came out. Oh, yeah. It was like, why? Whoa, what was even the point of this? Like, you tease it, and then just kind of give up on us? Why? Yeah. There was an internet theory going around for a while that, um, that... Jin Urso was actually a Knight of Ren. Oh God. Eh, I don't know. I if there's don't one really thing I can't that. stand about Star Wars, it's that everyone has to be something, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's not exclu- Oh! Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh. Well. That was embarrassing. Um, but, yeah. I forgot where I was, what I was talking about. I was super embarrassed by uh, what just happened. Well, we're talking about Star Wars and now everyone's somebody. Right, yes. Um, I mean, it's, it's narratively connected and it, it can, if it's done well, create this really interesting kind of symmetry. A Luke, I am your father type moment. Yeah, I mean, just have but it be I really thought, uh, rewarding. I, well, I thought like the uh, Ray, your nobody, was just as awesome. Yeah, like, I, I loved, loved that. Ray being part. nobody. I loved it. Yeah. Like, yes, because the Force can come from anybody. Anybody can use the Force. The Force is, it's not this, you know, this God-given gift. It's this power that resides in everyone. Yeah. And I think that's exactly the the message, the theme that the uh, sequel trilogy is about. Thank you for rescuing me. I agree entirely. Yeah. Who's everyone this guy? Have we seen him before? I don't think so. But he was terribly boring anyway, so whatever. Yeah. For him. Ah, these guys with the guns are really screwing with me. Yeah. You know what the key is, right? What? Get shot. Don't get shot? That's... Correct. I don't know, man. That doesn't sound accurate to me. Like... Well, just, just try it. Okay. I'll try it. But I can't guarantee that it'll work. You know what I really love about Spyro, though, is its level design. Yeah? Yeah. What's oh, so good about shit! It? Look, I made a little drawbridge ramp thing. 
Ooh. I really want that to come in handy later. That better be a Chekhov's gun type situation. And it is. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, baby. Aren't you going to save your dragon friend? Yeah, later. I want to run you got a land. job to do here. It's not all about just going off ramps and having fun. Yeah! Ah, and then I immediately go get myself shot. Yeah, she didn't listen to me. No, I didn't. That was immensely satisfying until I got shot. Yeah. Go rescue that dragon. I will, I will. I'm very interested in what he has to say. <laughs> yeah, you think he's gonna say something valuable? Hello, Spyro. Goodbye. Cletus. Be on the lookout for North Commando, Spyro. They better be on the lookout for me. Spyro's such a cocky little bastard. I hate him, Jacques. I hate him. Well, I don't hate him. That's why I'm playing. <laughs> That's why I'm playing this game. That does make sense. I love yes. Him. Yeah, but especially Spyro 2, I love very much because of the level design. Because each world had like this really cool aesthetic. And it didn't have this, like, hub world mechanic that the uh, original does. Uh -huh. Not really. I mean, it kind of does, but it's a single hub world. Ah. So is the and second one considered the better characters. of the two, or, or...? I consider it the better of the two, because this, this one feels like a little generic plot-wise. The second one had a better plot. At least what was I the plot for the second so. one? Um... Spyro wants to go on vacation. Uh huh. So I love it he, already. He flies through. Uh, oh no! He flies through a gate to uh, to go to this beach, but somebody reprograms the gate so that they so that he flies out into this place called Avalar, and Avalar is under the threat of this nasty dictator named um, Ripto, who hates dragons, and he's you know just like being a general asshole. I can't remember the specifics of what he was doing so badly because I haven't played this game in a while. But um, yeah, and then you're you're running around and you're getting in the way of Ripto, and it has proper boss battles instead of like these weird half boss battles, and uh, the worlds just feel more cohesive, I guess. This time but... it's personal. <laughs> Aha! There we go. Jesus, that was rough. Yeah. Can I take I've my got... advice? You turn your back for a second, and you immediately die. Do you want another piece of advice? What? Stop falling into the water, idiot. <laughs> Sorry, Luisa. Thank you, thanks. I can't believe it was that simple. Yeah. Now yeah, I think you're doing pretty good. Not from someone know. who's only seen this game played once by you, and has no basis for comparison. <laughs> Maybe I'm I should be more positive. Well. Do you think that's the problem? Uh, well, I don't think it's the problem, but it can't hurt. Well, I hate to make a positive change in my life and <laughs> not have it do anything. Have it be for nothing, so. <laughs> so rude. So rude. Ah, How damn come it. their guns don't damage each other? Because friendly fire is turned off. There we go. Finally making progress. Ha! Ah! Yes! Alright. We're in this little treasure trove. We're gonna collect all this treasure. And then we're gonna go back and do it all again. Yay! Yeah. Woo! Okay, according Thanks, to Green Twitch... Leader 27. $92,000 have been raised so far for direct relief, and there's still 14 day 13 days left. I believe so, that was all us, too. Boom. Look at that. That's awesome. Thanks, Green Leader 77.
Wait, is this uh Nasty Nork. Yeah, is this like the main the main event? This is it. Oh my god. Oh my god. It didn't look like the last level though. Is there one after this? Because uh there was another thing. There was another dragon head a uh, blah dragon head thing. But I don't know, this one says Nasty Nork, who is the bad guy. So we're gonna go confront him. This better be a proper boss battle where I die a bunch of times. <laughs> And it's not just end, it's a sheep on like, stilts. Uh, you may have defeated Nasty Nook, but there's also my brother, Jasper, so go get him. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's possible. Oh. Oh! Okay, we're right into it. That's fine. Oh! <laughs> oh he's right there. No <laughs> sort of like... So, Spyro, you finally made it. I yeah, there was no monologue. I've been anticipating this. There was no monologue. worthy adversary. I'm a little... I'm a little shook. I, I I wasn't expecting complete lack of preparation. I am slightly disappointed by the lack of kind of drama. Now you're ignoring Nasty Nork to go after this guy. Although well, good, because I hate gotta, these guys. Yeah, these guys are fucking jerks, so I feel no guilt about it. Let him up. Come on. Come on. No. So close. I can't Stay get to target. Nasty Nork until I've got this guy. Stay on target. No. Oh. oh my god. I cut him off and then I missed. How did I miss? Marissa, you've turned off your targeting computer. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. I just do this. Urgh. Took the wrong turn. Yes! Ha! Hey! Suck it. I got him. Okay. There's this key. All right, door. Great. Oh my god! Again? Again with the keys. So that key opened the door to a room where there was another key. Yeah, or I've got to chase another guy with a key. <sighs> All right, guys, we still got to design the final boss fight and the game ships in five minutes. What do we got? <laughs> um, okay, he's just standing there and there's some keys. I love it, let's do it. <laughs> okay, I almost fell off a cliff, but it's fine. Mm. Yes! Nice. Okay, now, I, how much do you want to bet that there's going to be another door with a key? One dollar. Ah! Okay. Oh, how about right here? I have to unlock some stairs. Oh! Nasty Nork, you coward, get back here. Ooh. <laughs> do you think he's going to run to the other world? <laughs> yeah. Probably like a, a yellow belly ugly coward he is. Nasty Norks, no problem. And he's ugly. Was that in-game dialogue? Because I feel like it could have yes, been. Yes, it was. <laughs> okay. That's kind of that's kind of mean. It had all of the polish of an early 90s or mid-90s game. Come on, nasty. No! How did you run so fast? You're working out, man. Although, Jesus, at some point we do have to actually fight this. Oh, there's a thing behind you. Go back behind you. There's a thing. Uh, it's way too late for that. Ah. Nasty Nork. Stop running. Are you that afraid of a tiny purple dragon? I think he's all talk. Yeah, he is. Look at that. Coward. Oh my god. These platforms are going. He knows back your weakness. In. Lava. The floor is lava. Oh no! No! Oh. Oh. Okay, I thought you were doing great until you weren't. So next time, yeah. don't 
weren't be not great. <laughs> I won't weren't be not great, okay? Okay, good. Oh no! I have to chase these guys again? <laughs> That's so lame. Oh no! Oh man, There's if you no die a couple more times. There's no checkpoints. This is insane. Larissa, if there's one thing I know about you, it's that you never fall off things you're not supposed to, so this is gonna go so easily. <laughs> oh my god. I'm devastated. Get back here, you turd! No! Yeah, all right. Momentum. <sighs> okay, trying again. You can do it. Or maybe not. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, I've done it before. Do it again, maybe. But you haven't done it before. You've never beaten this game before. But I've beaten this particular key holder before. Oh, okay. I was talking more in general, like, about the boss and all that. Well, I can beat him. Because I've done it okay. before. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Almost fell off the cliff again. If you fall into something, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't blame you. It was all fun and games. There's no consequences. But Jesus, we're past that now. Gonna get the thing that you wanted me to get. Thank you. I bet it's a checkpoint. I bet it's just a chest. I bet it's a checkpoint. If it's a checkpoint, I'm gonna cry. Like, loudly, messily, with snot and everything. Uh, okay. Maybe it's just a chest. Oh. So there's no snotty crying. <laughs> Damn. Sorry, you wanted to listen to that? I wanted to be right. I could care less what you do. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, sounds like our business relationship. <laughs> <laughs> if I was right, none of this would be happening, so... What do you mean none of this would be happening? <gasps> oh! oh. <sighs> huh. So I didn't listen to you. And I wasn't weren't not good. <sighs> you were less not weren't good than ever. <laughs> Is this all our streams are now? Remember <laughs> Wednesday? Oh, Wednesday was the same thing over and over again. Back to that <laughs> square one. I think we, uh, we overlooked a key component to video game streaming is that you have to be good at the games. <laughs> Uh, chat, I need your bits more than ever. Also, charity. Yeah. Can we send bits to ourselves? I don't think so. You can't actually do your own. That's bullshit. But we can gift a sub, and that's almost as good. Okay. So, what's in the news today? What is in the news today? Uh... Nothing. Nothing's in the news. Okay. That's... Oh, okay. um, actually, uh, on Twitch, uh, a streamer's on track to uh, break the record for the longest continuous stream. Whoa. How long's he at? It's a she. She? How long's she at? Uh, it doesn't say, but apparently she's close to the final boss, but keeps falling off these cliffs. <laughs> and if it continues, it could go on for years. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! I thought you were serious. Nope. You're so funny. You're hilarious. You know, one of these days, you're gonna say that. And it'll be genuine. And it's, it's gonna be genuine, yeah. But it is not this day. Ah, okay. Almost fell off another cliff. Can't afford that right now. 
You really can't. Inverted T-Rex says, I'm down with the years of Larissa and Mark streaming the same game. <laughs> Are oh, you, though? Boy. I feel like you shouldn't be. Oh man, okay. Mazali Kartoshka, I hope, says, Kartoshka. what's our take on the uh, Martoshka? Oh, oh, something's happening. Did I miss that? No, it's the same thing before. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, nothing new. I hate the out of sync because when I listen to myself freak out like five seconds later, <laughs> it's always over something not important at all. <laughs> Anyways, what do we think about the new Canadian 7 Civ 6? Um, I'm also, don't fall and die. I might, I might. Oh my god, oh my god! Aha! I did it! <gasps> oh! I did it! I did, I was expecting it to be a little more grindy, to be perfectly honest. But I did oh, it! That was it? Oh, okay, whatever. Whatever. Nasty Nork's a wimp. So long. Almost forgot about you guys. What about Ganasty Ganork? Nasty Nork is toast. So now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Uh, well, mostly. I've still got some treasure to find. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. <laughs> He's so sassy. I beat the first uh, game! Yay! Yay! That's exciting. Okay, so the question was, what are our stances on the Canadian addition to Civ 6, right? Yeah. Yeah, so wait. I watched the video and... Wait, what? Wait. I don't know, like, are we, you beat the game. Are we, are we, is something gonna happen? Like, what do we do? What do we do? Well, I wanna answer the question and then we go play the sequel, because this is All the right. trilogy that we're playing. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so we ain't over yet, baby. All right, um, so stick it up. Civ 6, yeah. Um, I kind of like the whole, you know, you get all of these buffs and bonuses and stuff on Tundra Tiles, because, you know, Canada, even though most of Canada is actually livable. Um, but I gotta say, William Laurier? Really? Like, they couldn't find a, a more... I don't know, prolific prime minister. Apparently, he was considered one of the greatest, and I'd never heard of him. I mean, yeah. I knew the name, but I didn't know what like I knew the was. name, but I I don't remember, or I don't even know if I learned what about what he did. <laughs> he did some stuff. That's all I know. Yeah, I all I'm I'm just glad it's not John A. McDonald because he's kind of a dick. Is he the first guy? Yes. Oh yeah. Tentatively. He was the one who was recently found guilty of being alive in the 1900s or 1800s. Yeah. I mean, mm. he got way too many schools named after him. He doesn't need a, you know, <laughs> a game too. I mean, like, we don't need to pretend he's a saint, but he did, you know, found the country, I assume. I don't actually know if he did. God, we are bad Canadian citizens. We can't remember our own history. Yeah. It's, like, there's no history to remember. Canada's kind of boring. <laughs> yeah. Um... But no, I also like all the, like, you can only have one hockey arena in each city, which is well, more the hockey hilarious arena is the than anything. Building, right? Yeah. But I mean, if you live in Canada, a hockey rink is not a unique building. Well, <laughs> They're that's everywhere. Silly, maybe. Yeah. But you get an extra bonus. Also, like, our, our special unit is Mounties. That's what kind of convinced <laughs> me that this game might be like, not racist, but it's very stereotypical. I, I didn't yeah. realize it with all the other sims, but with Canada, when it's your own guys, you kind of pick up on that. Yeah. Then you're just like, oh, is this what the world thinks of? Because this isn't, this isn't all of it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> There's more to us than red coats.
Okay. We're technically back at the hub world. Because I guess they want us to start over. But we're gonna... Oops. We're gonna go... Start the sequel. Ripto's Rage! This was my jam! In the world of dragons. Is this rain ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah! I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt! How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there's a Nork! <laughs> this is more epic than it was in the original. I'm okay with it. Is it oh my god. All my vacations start like this. Almost. Just well, the one did. More adjustments to these orbs and character, Maybe the character design's weird. A idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <laughs> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working! It's working! I've got a dragon! Huh? <gasps> Whoa! Rough landing! Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring! Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussy cat? <laughs> well, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? <sighs> a dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons. Yeah! Crush! Kill it! Kill it! <laughs> Go, you imbecile! You hate my scepter! I'll deal with you later! Who was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! Uh, how do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? <sighs> Woo! They're terrible hosts. <laughs> They're, they're panicking because everything's... Oh my god. Look at, look at the mouse. He's so cute. Spyro, welcome to Glimmer. Hasn't loaded for me yet. For us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems. Oh, I see him. Are you going to set him on fire? No, because Pogo's cute. And again, we have to hunt all the gems because all the gem cutters have lost their gems. Oh, Jesus. Again with the gems, too? Yep. Oh, and they changed the baskets? Everything's different, except everything's the same. I love it. I love it. Oh, the nostalgia. It's wonderful. Truly. Ah, but I still suck at this game. <laughs> but this is the one you played before, right? Yes, many, many, many times. Okay. And I was definitely not saying the dialogue along with Hunter as he was talking about dragons. Definitely not. 
in case you couldn't tell, I actually was, and I was pretending ah. not to. That's called humor. Is it? <laughs> well, that's what I call humor. I don't know what you call it. Look at the grass! It's very nice. I'm gonna put it right on the fridge. <laughs> Thank you. That's where I always wanted it. All right, we're gonna line. Yeah. Sweet. Moving on. Hi, Spyro. I'm a friend of Alora's, and she asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress. Like this. Okay, Zoe. Except in the original, she had the umlauts. What? <laughs> See you around. Yeah. That, the fact that they didn't spell... The fairy's name right. This is unacceptable to me. Hold on, I'm writing my letter right now. <laughs> How much anthrax should I include in it? All of it. The gem cutters okay. are a bit too short to climb these ladders. And it looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. I have to learn how to climb ladders. I'm oh, they're really stepping up the, <laughs> the drama here. Yep. And I have to go pay off Mr. Moneybags in order to learn how. And you're in debt? Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Moneybags is an extortionist. If I owed somebody money and had to learn how to climb a ladder in the same day, I don't know what I'd do. <laughs> oh, it would be, it'd be tough, man. Like, ugh. That's a, that's a big day. You must be the dragon everyone's talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you a hundred of your gems to cross. See? Extortionist. Look at him. Wait, He's what was the guy's name in the everything. first one? Pogo. Oh, wait, was his last name Moneybags? No, there was... Oh, no, no, Moneybags was in the first one. He was Was just... he always a bear? Yeah. Okay, he looks different. He's, I mean, <laughs> whatever he's doing, he should keep it up. Yeah, I don't know. His voice was more pompous Thank in you, uh, the original uh, game. Spyro, was it? <laughs> you can so he's become a man of the people in, in between the series. <laughs> yeah. Thank again. you, Mr. Dragon. Uh, Spyro, was it? That's that's exactly how he sounded. Just, like, overly pompous. Hmm. To get a good look around, press the action button. Try using action to look around this cave. I don't need to. I know this game so intimately. <laughs> yeah, this is the true exception to the fuck you, it's Friday formula. But it's also fuck you, it's Friday, so I can do whatever I want. Yeah, it was named correctly. Yeah. thoughts really on the on the uh, Canada instead of six thing like you sort of did but yeah I thought it was a stereotype where they included Mounties and hockey rinks as the two things I don't know who Alfred Pennyworth or Laurier or whatever his name was <laughs> I believe it's Wilfred whatever it could be wrong apparently he was a great prime minister I'd never heard of <laughs> Gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly, and the big gem lamp will light. 
The power up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. We got another flying challenge. Okay. Oh, failed already. And still failing. Uh Zed the Golden Golden Sky Cat Nine says, wasn't he the Prime Minister after Canada was founded? No, he was the Prime Minister before fourth. Canada was founded. He was the fourth, I believe. Was it the seventh? I gotta look this up. Is that what we have to do? Maybe. Uh, okay. He was the seventh prime minister of Canada. Ooh. Considered one of the country's greatest statesmen. Okay. <laughs> well, I had it all wrong. Gems better. You take it instead. Ooh. Got a fancy orb. Great. I don't get what any of this means. You got an orb now for your gems? Is that good? No, I got an orb for helping out this guy. Because I, I flew around and I lit all of the lamps so that his big super lamp in the middle got lit. Why does he want a super lamp? Because when they got taken over by Ripto, they cut off the power. So now I'm restoring the power to the people. So that they can... seems like an asshole. He is an asshole. Spyro, thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. Yeah, and then they just like they just keep giving you stuff, and you put the stuff in your guidebook. You know, these are very large mouse, or you are very small. I am very small. All right, I think we can go to Avalar. You want to go to Avalar? Yeah, we want to go to What's Avalar. Well, summer Forest of Avalar. But oh, okay. Avalar is uh, the setting for our play here. Have you ever been to Summer Forest in the summer? It's amazing. It truly is. In the winter, though, it's still kind of... It just doesn't look great. Yeah, there's just something about Summer Forest in the winter that just doesn't work, you know? <laughs> Yep. Oh, there no. goes Ripto. Oh, hello. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi. I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah. They gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's world and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? <laughs> if you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. It was not lunchtime. I don't like her. You don't like Alora? She's mean to the uh, cat guy, who's <laughs> apparently his, her friend, but then really nice to you, who she just met. Well, she's really nice to me because she can use me. Yeah, so she's mean. She's like manipulative and cold. 
Yeah, she's a bit too sassy. In this game, you can learn how to swim. I can't swim yet, I'll just, you know. I think I might actually be able to just... Yeah, I can swim on water now. I can swim on top of it. I don't immediately die. This is great. Well, he was going to the beach on his vacation, right? Yeah, so I'm assuming he did learn some basic swimming techniques. <laughs> Rumor has that he fell off a cliff like a million times, so he's finally decided <laughs> to be this proactive. This is the homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you- You already told me all this. Very video gamey dialogue. How dare they put video games into my video game. I don't think you're wrong about Alora, actually. Yeah, thank you. Hunter's gonna teach us something. Hunter's nice to us. Hi, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more hang time. Whoa. When did they put water on this okay, platform? Not bad. Now to make I'm sorry, is Hunter the same line. cheetah guy we've been talking jump to this button. whole time? Then press yep. jump again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide disc. Nice job. Now try to do a hover. He is like a legitimately nice guy. And the yeah. way the fawn treats him is unconscionable. The action button to hover. Hovering will give you Yeah. That hover. Yeah, Hunter's just a really swell Very guy. Good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start. Jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the left stick when you hover. All right, Hunter, let's do this. Wow, yeah. you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. What's really funny about this particular line of dialogue is the original voice actor would say, wow, you're a pretty good athlete. And just like really <laughs> emphasize the athlete. It was very strange. Woo, and I earned a trophy. Look at that. Yay. And an, a gem or amulet. What are those things called? A, an orb? Yes. Dragonfly following you around is your health I know, indicator. I know. Thanks, Zoe. You just show up to this world completely new, and some fairy there explains to you who your best friend is. <laughs> yeah. Like, come on, Zoe. I th I think I know who Sparks is by now. Remember the time we went to Atlanta and Customs was like, "Hi, Mark." This is Larissa, your friend. <laughs> yep. Sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. See, he's an extortionist. Yuck. 500 gems. Oh. And he's so brazen about it, too. I'd he's love unbearable. to teach. Ha <laughs> ha. That was funny. Yeah. All right, let's go to Colossus. Yeti man. Oh. Wow. 
either yet. I don't, I don't get anything in this world. <laughs> Now they're using the ray gun on the thing. No, they have the power of levitating with their voices. Oh, okay. And the Yeti just ate that guy. A Yeti has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. Thanks, Brother Harry. This is a cunning strategy they devised. <laughs> yep. Ugh. These uh, bighorn sheep are a little aggressive. And I just killed a penguin. You know those penguins with the little like orange eyebrow things? Ah. Oh. By concentrating, I should be able to open this door for you. Thanks, Brother Arnie. See, they got magic voices. Right, this is the level where I can play hockey. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, the music is perfect. Yes! All the nostalgia feels. See, look, they got their own little like hockey shrine. Yeah. So is this Planet Canada is that we've decided? Ah, uh, I dodged and it didn't work. I am upset. Uh, I guess it would be Planet Canada slash. To bed? <laughs> Who needs a key when you know how to chant like this? Enemies like those yaks are too big to be charged. Your flame attack should easily take care of think so. <gasps> There's also little spiral footprints on the snow. Look at that. Oh, that's so cute. Graphic fidelity. <laughs> Super HD. Each time you defeat an enemy, it will release a spirit particle. The spirit particles will activate the power up in that world. If a power up is inactive, you need to defeat more enemies. Yep, yeah, so now I'm killing people and harvesting their souls. <laughs> so this is Dark Souls, confirmed, <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, what else would it be? I keep dying. The Witcher 3? Hey, yep. look what I can do. Brother Curtis's original voice actor sounded like, Hey, look what I can do! So I'm glad that they updated the, the original voice acting because it, it wasn't good. Like objectively, it was just bad. Remember Hunter's advice. You will glide farthest if you press the jump button again at the very top. So, what do you think of the second Spyro here, Mark? It looks a lot like the first, except of? there's penguins. The grass is on fire. Well, the grass was always on fire. Yeah, there's um, supporting characters. Yeah, who, that's... The person you're supposed to like is a jerk. Well, you're just supposed to help. Well, you can tell they're setting her up as the love interest. Uh, hope not. That would kind of ruin things for me.
Oh. I thought there was something over there, but there wasn't. I was lied to. Or I, I'm more like misremembered. Woo! Right, okay. I forgot about all of this. Right. Eh! Okay. This is a strange power-up. I can't remember how to use it. There. No... Ah, no mean quips, Mark? Uh... No. They've all been said. <laughs> oh. You scared that evil spirit away, but now it will hide what the in the hell was that statues. thing? If you were to flame all ten statues, is an I'm evil sure spirit. You would chase it away for good. We're just bringing the afterlife into this with no. <laughs> yep. Evil spirit, and I have to uh, to purge. Like all of these statues are now corrupted. But like the first game never had elements of the supernatural in it, did it? Well, I mean, magic is supernatural by its very nature. Well, I mean, like, I don't know, we just brought in the existence of the afterlife through a demon in this game with no explanation or setup. I mean, it doesn't really need it. Okay. And this whole, like, area is very religious in nature, so <laughs> I feel like it's the not hockey necessary. sticks and all that? Yeah, they're like hockey playing Tibetan monks. Okay. Careful of that demon from the pits of hell there, Spyro. <laughs> He'll burn you with this hellfire. Also, we got a hockey game coming up, so let's uh, hurry this up. <laughs> uh, if you could, uh, you know, exercise all these statues before our semifinals, that would be really great. We're, uh, we're having a lot of trouble fighting these, uh, you know, the, the gem cutters from Glimmer. They're our only real competition, you see. We're fighting them. We're going against them. So, uh, it'd be really great if you could, like, you know, help us out, buddy. How many am I at? Halfway there. There wasn't as many hockey sticks last time. I think in the original version of this game. I feel like this is a relatively new edition. Oh, look was that one of the mandates they uh They're like, you know what Spyro really needs? Designed. More hockey. That's what it's missing. Okay, got three left. Where are they? Another one. This is rather secluded spot. Uh, huh. Where are the last two? 
Ah, probably over here. No, not. Okay, that's fine. This one's right here. All right. Even though I'm a vegetarian, I think you should torch that yeti. He's pretty tough, though. In fact, I'm not sure you're up to it. Try me, brother Ned. Even though I'm a vegetarian, you should burn that animal alive. <laughs> I thought the yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. Or crush him beneath a <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. And just like that, I get a talisman. Woo! I'm a hero. None of these like scenarios ever make any sense to me. Oh, we're, we have a talisman. We have to guard it from the Yeti who wants it, but because you defeated the Yeti, you can have it. Don't they still need it? Why are they guarding it? I don't know. Plus, this professor also stole an orb from the temple and then just gave it to me, saying that they don't need it. It's fine. It's never ending. Yep. The corruption is insane here. I want to go play hockey now. No one can stop me. Yeah, look at this. I can skate. This, this is why Ripto's Rage was a much better game. Because it's it. Because of the skating. Well, just like there were more mini games and puzzles and things. Ah, Spyro, welcome. We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? Yes, you please. Have two minutes to score five goals in the red goal. Yeah. Oh, they've even got an audience this time. Sweet. Alright, we got a little shinny going on. Yeah. There's an actual hockey minigame in this? Yep. Lord. Why? <laughs> because why not? I am this is so weird. No! Also, I'm just... If this was basketball, this would be considered traveling. Arr. But this is still, in fact, hockey. This is hockey, so there's no such thing as traveling. No, you jerk! Just let me score! There we go. Got to get three more points. Uh -huh. Shoot, that was ill planned. Uh -huh. Just flame him. Do you think that'll disqualify me? No, you'll melt the ice. I don't think I'm gonna win this one. Only got 15 seconds. Oh. Ooh, am I gonna? Am I gonna do it? Am I gonna do it? Stakes are high. I did it! Well done. Yay! Oh, that was close. 
that could have gone into OT. <laughs> Spitting on a puck just seems like the worst. I feel like it would wreck your teeth. Probably would. Oh god, one on one sucked. Come nope. Bye. <laughs> so yes, there is actually a hockey mini game. It's actually really fun. But I can learn to swim now. Yay! We got a full triathlon going on over here. We got flying, we got hockey, we got swimming. Is this the Spiral Olympics? It is. All right, money bags. I've got your cash. Hello there, Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for <clears throat> a small fee. Small fee. I'm so tired of the rich okay. keeping the secrets <laughs> of swimming water, safe, you know, from everybody. Yeah. Especially when it's so simple. When underwater, use the I remember, like, showing up to swimming lessons and just being, like, all these billionaires in their fucking suits. Okay. Forgot how awkward swimming is. Oh yeah, and I don't have to breathe underwater. There's no breath timer. I feel like this is something Spyro could have learned on his own. Eh, uh, not necessarily. All of Moneybag's advice was, oh, you should use these skills that you already know. Jump in the water. <laughs> and do it underwater. There's also the introduced buttons. Whoa! I know. Well on your way, Spyro. Keep collecting talismans to help us defeat Crypto before he can take over Avalar. Oh, and keep collecting those orbs too. The professor thinks they will help you get back to the Dragon World. Your game camera is currently in passive mode. This mode requires you to manually control the camera. If you like, oh, right. I can change the game camera to use active mode. In active mode, the camera adjusts itself based on your movement. Yeah, I don't think we'll okay, be doing I'll that. Change it. Remember, you can change the camera mode yourself by using the options menu. This is so... 90s. <laughs> you should turn it on and then go to the land of the cliffs. Oh god. Do you just want to see me suffer? Is that what this is? Yeah, at this point it couldn't hurt. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, it could hurt. This could hurt my pride. I mean, you'd have to have pride first in order for it to be hurt, so. Oh, you got pride. <laughs> she was just downstairs. Oh my god, she's teleporting. He was just by the pool. Everyone teleports. 
I oh got my God, there she is again. Bad feeling about this whole whole place, man. <laughs> you know this. Oh, this is the first boss gate. Oh shit. Hi, Spyro. This talisman door will only open if you have all six summer forest talismans. Once the door is open, Ripto and Crush will be waiting in the dungeon. Yep. I can't fight them yet. I have to fight. Well, yeah. well, good to see you, Spyro. I used to remember how to lower this wall behind me, but I seem to have temporarily forgotten. If you had more money, it might jog my memory. Now he's like, he's actually asking for a bribe. Oh. You should have stood up to him the very first time you met, because now yeah. you've enabled. Yeah, now he knows that he can just keep See, getting all Spyro, of this. You see this wall um, here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. Ah, <sighs> yes. The sparkling beauty of those gems seems to have jogged my memory. Of course. Of course. And of course, it's, it's a paywall. He's worse than EA. Gonna buy some more like gems or whatever. How much money do you got? I got 28 gems. No, 30 money, money. Four, 48. No. What? You should just like get your credit card, buy some gems. <laughs> you're good to go. Ah, I see. I see. I really like exploring in the overworld because it's just so unique, you know? Oh, so. This works, Spyro. The orbs well, you're carrying have activated the special. That's what I thought. Hold on. <laughs> talisman in Ocean Speedway. But if you're fast, you'll get lots of treasure. Ha. Oh no, Ocean Speedway. That's a flying one. No, I'm running away from that. Oh god. Yeah, no, the overworld is really cool because you just, like, you get to explore a lot of shit and it's just fun. Eh. Alright. Do we have enough time for another little mission? That's the question. What do you think, Mark? It's up to you. Only you have the heart of a dragon and the friend of a fawn and also a cheetah's in there. Why not? I saw something shiny <laughs> at the top of this wall. You could probably get it, but you'll have to learn how to climb. All right, let's go to Sunny Beach because that sounds fun. We've been wanting to go to a beach anyway. But no, the overworld is just, you know, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to explore just in the overworld it, itself. It's very reminiscent of Zelda. Ooh, I never played Zelda, so I don't know. <gasps> Whoa. I was not a Nintendo kid. Yeah. Oh, right. I forgot about the taser guys. And they're locking up all the turtles. We've got to rescue the turtles, guys. Not the turtles! Hi, Spyro. It's a good thing you're here. If you can help shepherd those baby turtles over there to safety, I'd be mighty grateful. Prince Tortoise. Look at them. Just now that I run is into racist. them, they fall over. <laughs> baby turtles. All right, I'm going to go this way. Woo! Okay. Why are underwater controls so horrible? Because of, um... Shit. Because of shit? I don't yep. think that's it. I was trying to make a water pun, but I couldn't think of anything. 
Also, I can't use my flame breath underwater. That does make sense. That is, uh, yeah, okay, that, that like I just, I just spew more bubbles than normal. <laughs> There's like overly aggressive ducks everywhere too. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's all sounding pretty <laughs> realistic so far. Look at him, taunting me. How do I open it? Remember. Baby turtles to safety. you I don't know maybe inside their shells but they're babies babies have shells don't they there they are okay it's fine they're fine I was, I was, worried I was about so the worried I was beside myself I know you were you're really brave for getting through this. I am. An evil starfish. They're like Kirby. Things. I do hate starfish too. God, I hate starfish. <laughs> up at the top of this ladder, who wants to make soup out of our turtles? Not Maybe turtle soup. Could climb up there and stop. I can't climb up there and stop him because I don't know how to climb. I can't stop. The turtle souping. And you can't you can't climb ladders yet. Can't climb ladders. Huh. Apparently, I'm too stupid, and I need to pay someone way too much money to learn how. Whoa. I thought he was gonna teach me how. Turtles will be safe up here. Please take this talisman as a token of our gratitude. Look at that. Look at that. We saved three baby turtles. Where did we get the, the fuck to this game from? You went to Canada Hockey Religious Land and now you're in Turtle Land. It yeah. doesn't make sense. Sure it does. Explain how. Uh, because I say so. Okay. Because it's what a figured. beach theme. <laughs> have captured most of our baby turtles, <laughs> but the, uh, and the boxes they put them in are incredibly strong. Okay. With a more okay. powerful flame attack, maybe you could break open the boxes and release them. Even more baby turtles to be freed. We must be the heroes. Look at that. I'm a hero. There's seven? Oh god. Where are they?
This turtle is lazy. Get over there. No, no. He really doesn't want to go over there. Okay, fine. new tattoos aren't they sick uh yeah how did she get those i went through a power up and it charged them up for me okay are they like permanent no they're temporary temporary tattoos <laughs> oh there's one oh that's how i get there okay this again. But we're gonna be good this time. Go. Alright. I think that's enough for me. I think it's time to move on back later. We freed a bunch of turtles. Great. Gonna go back. Avalar. Oh, children, aren't they so charming? No, no, they are not. <laughs> ah, well, I can't really change your mind about that, can I? If that is very true, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're gonna call that the end of our adventure today, folks. Thank you very much for joining us for another edition of Fuck You, It's Friday. We'll be back tomorrow for Grad Strategy Saturdays. We are still doing Stellaris Invicta. The end game is going to happen any second. Any second is the end game crisis. What do you think it's going to be, Mark? Uh, man, I don't want to take any bets on that because I'm going to be wrong. I'll just say it'll be <laughs> all of them together or none of them. <laughs> all right. All or nothing. I like it. Um, but we're also streaming on Wednesday for Wildcard Wednesday, where we're playing whatever game... Do we have a game plan for I've been Wednesday? I've XCOM. XCOM. You know what? Yeah. We might do the the remaster, right? Yes. XCOM yeah. 1, the remaster series, I guess. Not really yeah. the remaster, it's remake. Whatever. Remake. XCOM. XCOM. Without the hyphen. <laughs> Without the hyphen. Okay. So we'll be doing that one, but I'll be doing it. What? craziness um otherwise we're back next week with the witcher 3 wild hunt for fuck you it's friday next week so uh yeah thank you all very much for joining us and we shall see you tomorrow